Hi, and welcome to Chicks Talking Picks. If you haven't joined us before, we're glad you found us. This channel is a bi-weekly image discussion with two nature photographer nuts. We review your nature images and share ideas on how they might be improved for future competitions or uh, even display on your wall. So thanks for tuning in. I'm Sandy Zalasko, pro photographer and owner of Sandra Lee Photography. I specialize in wildlife and conservation uh, photography. And I'm signing in today from sunny San Diego. Uh, but you gotta love it here. If you wanna see more about my work, uh, I lead photo tours in the Western United States and you can find information about those at investinnature.org. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Sandy. Um, I'm Jenny Wolf. I'm also in uh, what's right now, sunny San Diego. Um, my formal education is in biology. I've spent many years in restoration ecology and near shore fisheries. Photography was always a part of that work. Um, additionally, I'm a commercially rated hot air balloon pilot, so you can frequently find me at balloon events in the uh, Western US. You can find out more of my work at wolfheartimages.com. Super. Great to have you, Jenny. I, this is always a fun part, fun afternoon we spend together critiquing images. So why don't you tell the viewers what this channel is all about? Okay, thanks, Sandy. Um, so what we want to do is when you submit images to competitions, you don't always know what's going through the judge's mind or what happens behind the scenes. So we want to give you a peek behind the curtain of what we discuss when we're just uh, looking at your images in competitions. We're hoping that this will help you improve your photography, look at your own work more critically, and be more intentional when you're photographing as well as post-processing your photographs. Exactly. So Jenny and I have been judging together for quite a few years uh, at places like the San Diego County Fair, one of the largest and oldest county fairs uh, in the country. And they see over 10,000 entries each year. And while we were judging, the last couple of years ago, we just thought that a lot of images need just a very little improvement and they just missed that mark of being accepted or moving on to the second round. Uh, and, and we just felt maybe we could help out, um, you know, so here we go. Let's take a look at our first image, Jenny. This image was sent in by uh, Heidi Gotro. And thank you, Heidi, for sending the image in. This is a beautiful image. I love this image. It makes me want to be there. Um, you've done a great job with the, the, the star effect of, for the sunlight that's peeking through and behind, almost behind that one um, tree or two trees. It's actually there. Uh, beautiful, beautiful light. You know exactly where the light's coming from. Your subjects are backlit. Uh, just very nicely done. Uh, I, I don't have much to say about this. I uh, I'm just might suggest the upper right-hand corner be toned down just a little bit, or maybe you crop the right off just a hair, um, only because uh, I'm looking at the sun. That's the first thing that draws my attention. But once I want to look deeper into the image, my eye goes to that top right corner next. And if you can stop that from happening, I would say um, I would do that. Jenny? Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm a sucker for black and whites anyway. Uh, I love this image. Um, <clears throat> I get actually drawn after seeing the sun and I do love the starbursts. Those are really hard. I, I always have trouble getting them. This area here draws my image, my eye. Um, so I would maybe tone that down a bit. And I think one of the other things that would really um, maybe give this a little more life is if you could go more black on the left side of the image. And all of these little ferns have highlights in them, you know, all on the edges. 
And if you could just bring those up a little bit and bring out the detail on those, um, I think it would give you a nice line between the sun and have something, you know, some more detail down here. I love the rim light on the trees. Um, so I think that all might, um, cluttering up the image here, just to give it a little more uh, depth and things for the viewer to look at more. I mean, there's so many little things to discover in here. And I think if you brought out a little bit of those highlights, a little more, um, you might keep the viewer a little longer. Not that I wouldn't want to stare at this image for a long time anyway. But. Yeah, same here. Yeah, and you know, Jenny, I put my uh, little my hand to crop tool up and on that left side what you were talking about right and here. oh my god that is so much more pleasing oh, yes to get rid of it yes so it's just seem yeah. now now that crop messes up your sunlight where you've positioned mm -hmm. your sun right light. so um yeah i'd work on that <laughs> i don't know I don't yeah, know. that's why I was suggesting darkening rather than right. cropping because I like the weight. I mean, your light spot here has a lot of visual weight mm -hmm. to it. And so having the dark area on the left balances that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe just darkening it rather than cropping it. Might right. Be yeah, and I think if, if Heidi could pull out a little bit more in those ferns, like you suggested, almost like what's right under the sun, those plants that are under the sun, if you mm -hmm. could just pull, not that extreme, but just a little bit more uh, off the tops of some of those yeah. uh, ferns. Yeah, that would just a little, it. just a touch so that, mm -hmm. you know, they're up like one more tonal value from where they are right now. Yeah, beautiful done, mm -hmm. beautifully done, Heidi, very nice. All right, and Heidi has sent us a second image. And Jenny, you're gonna start with this one. Um, this has got gorgeous soft light in it and it's obviously meant to be a very soft image. Um, I think for me, it's a little too soft. I keep wanting to, I love the shapes. I love these curls here and this here. I just, I want this edge here to be sharp, um, just to give my eye a place to rest a little bit. And those are so bright that they kind of make the center seem too dark. So I might lighten the center up just a little bit because I'm look, I'm, my eyes are bouncing between the two light spots and then the center is just like in the way. And I, it, it feels like it needs to draw my attention and keep my attention a little more, if you know what I mean. So maybe lighten that up a little bit. Yeah, I see I what you're saying. You <laughs> but I, I, I think in, I think Heidi was very intentional with making this a soft image and leaving just those two places that you pointed out with a little bit of um, curving and detail. But I do agree that the center could be lightened a little more because like Jenny said, your eye goes to the lightest part. So I'm seeing those two little curves or swirls in the flower itself. Um, I can't say I saw that before Jenny mentioned it but now I see it all the time. So yeah, that's Jenny and I go back and forth on these things too. Uh, I, I just think maybe lightening a little bit up or maybe giving a little sharp edge to more to the, yeah, I'm not sure, but I love this image. I, I do love this image. What category would you put it in Jenny? Um, it's not abstract enough to be abstract. So I think it would have to be in floral mm -hmm. or macro. Um, I think macro, I think macro would, it would be nice and macro. Yeah, I think floral, it would bump up against too many mm -hmm. traditional flower images. Um, yeah, I love it. It's the, okay, so the pastel -y look of this image 
is so pleasing to me. It's got like the yellows and lime greens and uh, that are intermixed with the whites of the flower. It just, uh, yeah, very nice image. Nice crop, everything else about it, great. All right, all right, let's see what image comes up next. All right, and this is another image by Heidi, totally different than what she did the first time around or the first one. Or the other one. <laughs> yeah, or the other one we saw. <laughs> uh, so this, this is very interesting. You know, so there's the, ooh, the sharpness of the, the, uh, the cactus um, uh, needles and you've got the softness of the flower and then you've got these crazy ants that are all over the place. So story, ex excellent story. You can't, I mean, it's all, it's tells the story of this flower. Love it. I keep staring at it. I want to move in closer to it to see what else I can see. Uh, I like the diagonal feel of it. Love the depth of field that all the little spines are out of focus in the background. The whole, the further background is completely out of focus as it should be in something in an image like this. So shot very well, and you can tell one two hundredth of a second stop those little ants from, you know, sh their feet or blurring or anything like that. So that's really great. Um, yeah, you know, I think you got lucky. I don't think you did this on purpose, but I think you got lucky with that dark background in the right hand corner, the right hand side and the top left. I'm not sure that you did a uh, did any post-processing and added vignette to that, but that was great positioning while you were taking the image, I'm assuming, uh, while you were in the camera looking at your background, checking your background is really, really important. It's just as important as a subject as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Jenny, go ahead. Yeah, and um, obviously since it's so square, she must have cropped um, some, of, some of the image out. Uh, did a nice job. I mean, there's still a little bit of space right here. They're not cut off. Um, obviously, the longer ones are. Um, I really love the two centered ants. Uh, mm -hmm. They really carry a lot of the story. I would love if this one was walking this way, because then that would really give your eyes a nice circle. Obviously, it's hard to direct the ants on what they're doing. Um, <laughs> But my eyes bounce between those first two because you see their eyes. And so it, mm -hmm. just seeing the eyes, even if it's an insect eye, brings you in a little bit more. Um, yeah. But yeah, having them each do doing their own sort of thing kind of gives you a little more uh, a story to it. Yeah, I love it. I, you might, I mean, this is a beautiful image in itself, but also, um, you know, coming in closer on those ants might be fun, a fun, another fun story. Yeah, yeah, so. definitely. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, I love the colors. You've got um, s sort of complementary colors, the greens and the pink kind of. I mean, I know it's not quite <clears throat> complementary, but I think uh, the yellow in the center just pops out of that flower, the middle of that flower. Yeah, just looking at it, just, just um, yeah, I just, want, I just want to see more. I want to go in deeper. <laughs> good. Yeah. All right. Anything else, Jenny? Um, you know, there's not a lot else we could say about this. I mean, sometimes the better images, we just can't say a whole lot. And we just say, move it on to the next tier and, and, mm -hmm. and that's it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, Heidi, for turning in that image. And, uh, oh, I just removed the metadata on that, so. So that's good. So you can see the image without any writing on it. So there you go. Yeah, just beautiful. Very pleasing. So thanks, Heidi. Thanks for um, sending that image in. Uh, really appreciate it. Remember um, to all you viewers out there that judging is really subjective. Uh, you know, our comments come from years of experience, thousands of image reviews, and our own practice in the field. Um, so we're hopeful that you'll be able to use some of our tips or suggestions today, apply them uh, when you feel appropriate on your images. You may not use any of them, and that's fine with me too. Uh, so again, 
subjective. Um, but, uh, you know, feel free to submit your images um, and we're going to be reviewing those at uh, uh, every other week, so bi-weekly. And um, you can make them uh, no larger than 1920 on the longest size and put them in a JPEG format and mail them to chicks talking pics at gmail.com. And we'll get one of your or more images in a future uh, um, recording. And while you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the little bell and the all, so you always get notified when we publish a new episode. Great. Well, it was nice spending time with you again, Jenny. Good to see and you, we will we'll see the viewers in two weeks. All right. All right. Bye-bye.